Ma said I could carry a basket. Mama, Mama, she pulled my ears. Come, come, that will do. Now, my dears, you may go into the fields. <laughs> or down the lane. But don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Your father had an accident there. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. Now run along and don't get into mischief. I'm going out. Peter, come along, Peter. Not likely. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the wood to the baker. Now then, a loaf of brown bread and, let me see, uh, one, two, three, four, five currant buns. Psst, Benjamin! Peter! I'll try and meet you tomorrow, under the big fir tree! Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. Oh. Mama will never find out. And in any case, I'm quite sure I can outrun Mr. McGregor. Own. Someone might notice it. Oh. Oh. Wouldn't have a tummy ache, would we? Oh. oh, I do feel rather sick. Faster than Mr. McGregor, are we? <laughs> uh, definitely something wrong with that one. Oh, I'd best find a little bit of parsley. Oh. Mr. McGregor! Stop, thief! Come back here, ya wee pest! Mama! Oh, no! I'll end up like Papa! Where's that wee barbet? Ah! Gotcha, ya wee... Ah! Stop! Oh, come back! Wait, I'm gonna. Oh no! There goes my other shoe. Mm. Ah! Ah! So, so. Goodness, where am I now? Must get out. Must get out. Or is it this way? No. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps it's this way. Or is it this way? No. This way. Ah! 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 Ah!
give up. Don't just lie there, Peter. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Before Mr. McGregor comes. Quick, Mr. McGregor. Hurry, hurry. Mr. McGregor's coming. It's no use. My brass buttons are all caught up. Mr. McGregor will put me in a pie. Come on, keep on trying. Quick, before Mr. McGregor comes. Quick, Mr. McGregor. Hurry, hurry. Here somewhere, and I'll find a need to do that. Come on and show yourself, you wee beastie. I know, find you here. Peter, late again. Where have you been? Not in Mr. McGregor's garden again, I hope. And where are your clothes? I suppose you're going to tell me that you have lost them again. <laughs> Do you realise that is the second little jacket and pair of shoes you've lost in a fortnight? You shall go straight to bed without any supper. I must say, you don't look too well. I'll give you a dose of chamomile tea. Do try not to stain your aprons. This should set you to rights. Mr McGregor's garden, indeed. There. Go to sleep now. Good night, Mama. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> now then, I think we're nearly ready. Where's Peter? Oh, perhaps he's better out of the way today. Cottontail, arrange these mittens for me, will you? I suppose your cousin Benjamin hasn't called. No, no Mama. Breakfast time. <laughs> Lunch time. <laughs> Tea time. <laughs> Supper time. <laughs> Breakfast. <sighs> Where has Peter got to? I'm sure I said the lane. Or did we say the fir tree? If you think I'm going to stand oh, here and listen to that, I'm afraid you have made a mistake, Mrs. Postlewaite. Yeah. To think of all I've mm. done for her. Are oh. you listening to me? The ingratitude of it all. Mm. Oh, by the way, pray remind me to get a new pie dish. Well, after all, I made all mm. those scones for that last committee meeting, didn't I? Mr. McGregor well, will agree look, with you. Look, the McGregors are going out. I'd better find Peter. Though I don't really want to see Aunt Josephine. Anyway, I'd probably only spill things or break something. Goodness, Peter, what do you think? Who's got your clothes? The scarecrow in Mr. McGregor's garden. And if you're going to laugh... <coughs> Mr. McGregor nearly caught me. But I was only looking around. Maybe I tasted a few things, but you should have seen him. No, no. That's what I came to tell you. Mr. McGregor has gone out in the gig. And Mrs. McGregor, and for the whole day. And I'm sure she was wearing the best hat. Well, I hope it rains. The scarecrow. Hey, I love that tam shanter. The gate's along here somewhere. It spoils people's clothes to squeeze under a gate. The proper way to get in is to climb down a pear tree. Goodness, be careful, Benjamin. Oh, come on, Peter, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Jacket shrunk. Uh, your shoes are full of water. Here, catch. Oh, Mama will be dreadfully angry. Oh, Aunt will never notice. We'll take her back a present. Some onions, perhaps. Uh, uh, come on, we can use the handkerchief to carry the onions. Aunt will be pleased with us. Oh, I don't think we need any more, Benjamin. Otherwise, I'll only drop them. Mmm. Do taste some of these. Mm, you like this. What I would like is to go home. Oh, don't be such a worrier, Peter. Father and I are always coming here. We come and get lettuces for our Sunday dinner. We'll never get back up the pear tree with all these onions. We'll try the far gate. Peter. Well, I'm doing my best. Why don't you help? Oh, no! Oh, bother! Look out, Benjamin! <gasps> Be more careful, Peter. Whatever's the matter? I just want to go home. Well, hurry up, then.
Now what do we do? Keep quiet for a start. <laughs> There's no need to cry, Peter. I'm not. It's these beastly onions. I'll never look at another onion ever again. She'll have to go in for a supper soon. Surely. Please don't mention supper. that young rascal got to. Have you seen my son, Peter? He's been missing all day. Young Benjamin has made himself scarce as well. Mm, just wondering whether I should go and look for him myself. Leave it to me, Josephine. I have a very good idea where they might be. And if I'm right... Oh, no! You don't think it's... Return to your little ones, Josephine. I shall deal with the young rascals, wherever they may be. I think. And let me assure you, this doesn't hurt me more than it hurts you. has gone to find... Here he is, Josephine. Peter! Unfortunately, none the worse. Oh, well, at least you've found your jacket and shoes, Peter. Mama! Though I shan't inquire where. I am obliged, Mr Bouncer. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> not at all. My pleasure. Only young ones, what? <laughs> Happily, all has ended well. But let it be a lesson to you, Peter. 